Hello, welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, Austin Dresson, and today we're going to be looking at the Wrestling News on Thursday. Before we start the proper newsroom, I want to give an update about Adam Blompier. On a YouTube account called Adam Blompier, he posted an eight minute video giving an update of what's happened since he gave his public statement. Uh, one, he said he's been in therapy for about a month. Um, he also came out as a sex addict and uh, he's working with therapists. Uh, he talks about his low self-esteem, uh, He's bit, how the YouTube fame, because he's always had low self-esteem, and that played negatively on his ego. He also apologised once and said he wants to become a better man. Uh, he said he's doing charity work with the, uh, with the Samaritans uh, because he wants to give back and improve himself and wants to come back as a better man. He said he's not healthy at the minute. He's working to get healthy. He will not be returning to YouTube anytime soon. He said he needs to focus on himself to improve himself. He said he went against his morals, his uh, whole ethos. He said he was a, he is a sex addict, which he's trying to get cured. Um, so yeah, that that is a big update on Adam Blompier. He's in therapy. He may come back to you to YouTube. He said if and when he's healthy, he may not even return at all. Uh, Personally, I can't uh, say what he did was right, but I'm I'm so glad that he's seeking help. I really am. The professional help should and will hopefully help him. Anyone can turn out to be a better person. And I believe that Adam Blompier will turn this around. He will be able to become a better man and make up for the wrongs that he has done. So that's where my thing ends on Adam Blompier. I'll give you another update as and when he releases another video if we get any more updates. But please don't hate the video just for that. All I was doing is giving you the facts on what happened. Uh, now we go to the belief is that the segment from this week's Smackdown Live with Jinder attacking the Singh brothers was a way to write them off to WWE television. According to Peter Brunside that there was talks there was talks several weeks ago to have the brothers replaced uh, as Mahal's cronies by other talents. Fair enough. Fair enough. They're not doing the Indian project anymore, clearly, so do it. And with reports CM Punk training for another MMA fight, he's apparently going to be a meeting with the UFC's Dana White this weekend to discuss further plans. He said, CM, is, CM Punk is coming to Detroit and wants to talk to me. I love that. Love the guy. We'll see what he's doing, Dana White. Uh, go for it. I'd love to see CM Punk have another fight. I'd also love to see him back in WWE. Uh, and a fan claimed on social media that AJ Styles is going to retire after 34. WrestleMania 34, uh, he denied it just saying wrong. Fair enough. I don't think he's going to try that early. Um, and uh, during t the Impact Wrestling media call yesterday, Alberto El Patron talked about how he's considered leaving wrestling business while he said he loves the real wrestling fans. Keyboard Warriors and the dark side of the business have made him think about doing other things with his life. He mentioned that he will continue to wrestle till 2018, but it's considered an impossible retirement tour in 2019. Okay, fair enough. Keyboard Warriors can be bad, though. I can agree with him on that one. And now we have a wonderful update, yes. According to the YouTube account Heal by Nature, Impact Wrestling has not done, has not have any plans as of last week to continue the legal battle with Matt Hardy over the broken gimmick. Hardy could have full legal ownership over the gimmick mid-January unless Anthem decides to submit further paperwork. Ed Norholm had issued the following statement to Sports Illustrated regarding the, the gimmick. He said, uh, We have seen the character develop and will be interested to see where they take the concept. Our new talent agreement all incorporate language that allow talent to continue using their impact persona after they leave the company. We are working with our legal team to amend our existing agreements and extend this to all our current and former talents. So by this, it sounds like they're giving up and they're going to give it to Matt Hardy. Thank God. You could have just done that fucking seven months ago and just given up this whole situation. Oh my God, you've wasted everyone's time, Anthem. But yes, he's finally getting it. Um, and... Um, we have, um, there's talks about him doing all the mannerisms, but using the name Woken instead of Broken for the gimmick. Uh, it is also expected that Jeff will be doing the gimmick as well when he returns from injury. It is wonderful, yes. Then they will delete 
the WWE tag team division continue the expedition of gold. I'm excited if you can tell. Uh, and while his profile picture is still up on WWE's website, Leo Rush has removed references to WWE on his Twitter profile and also changed his hometown from Orlando to, ba to Baltimore. He put the tweet reflection, but PW Insider just flat out uh, said, Leo Rush has not been released by World Wrestling Entertainment. So he's not been released as of yet, but we don't know what the hell's going on with this situation. And then we just have uh, to end... Um, Oh, um, Naomi uh, uh, sustained a separated shoulder, cervical strain, and facial contusions in the hands of the Riot Squad on SmackDown Live. So that's the storyline update to what's going on there. And then we just have some figures we might as well throw out here. This week's WWE Raw drew 2.759 million views, which was down from 3.0 last week. And... Um, Smackdown Live drew 2.68, which was up from 2.6262 last week. So, slightly up for Smackdown, down for Raw. Um, which is not good, to be fair. Okay, um, we're getting to the like drought before Christmas, so... <laughs> I hope we can just pick up the numbers again. But either way, the steady numbers... Over two and a half million for a viewing for the day. So it, first hour was two point nine, second hour was two point seven, last hour was two point six. So it, overall, that's one of the least amount of drops I've seen. To be honest, it's not too bad. Whereas normally it drops from if they have three drops from three to two point five in the last hour. So they only lost uh, four hundred thousand throughout the entire show, which overall isn't too bad to be honest. I think this is all right. Now, this has been the Wrestling Newsroom. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give this video a like. Please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content, and I'll catch you later.